We're going to follow on from the why computers use binary video and look at units of binary because you know you've got billions of these switches in a computer so we need some way to measure them. Um, and what we're going to do is have a look at a table here. So I'm going to give you the name of a particular unit of measurement we use for binary. Um, I'm definitely going to give you an example and I'm going to give you an idea of the size for each of the uh, units that we're going to use. Okay, and we're going to start off a bit at the basics. We're going to start off with a bit. Okay, that is short for binary integer um, and it's either a zero or a one. So when we say bit, we mean a zero and a one. That's an easy example, isn't it? Like an example would be just the number zero, for example. And when you think of these uh, are the, these units of measurements, what I always think is quite helpful, if you imagine a biscuit, all right, let's say it's just got, a, maybe it's just some chips in it there like that, um, but you're not quite sure what flavor biscuit it is, and you're not quite sure if you're gonna like it or not. So you just start off maybe just having a tiny bit of that biscuit. And then next thing might come is that you might have a nibble of that biscuit, okay? And the nibble is four bits. So we actually use this thing called nibble in computer science. We say that it's four bits of data. So your example here might be 0101, and that equals one hexadecimal character. So that's why we tend to use the word nibble, okay? So we've had a bit of a biscuit, and now we're gonna have a nibble of a biscuit. So thinking, oh, I quite like that. I might have a little bit more. So what comes next? You have a bit, you've had a nibble. The next thing is that you have a whole byte, so that the spelling is slightly different. And then there's eight bits of data, and it's the most common sort of unit of measurement that everything else is then based on okay example there would be 0101 and then we have eight of these there you go there's an example of a bite and I'll take a big bite out of my biscuit at this point all right so far so good but we need uh, a few more units of measurements because we're dealing with massive file sizes at the end of the day next up we've got a kilobyte and this is where things start to go a bit Greek because the kilobit comes from the Greek word thousand. And so this is a thousand bytes. Now you may have seen somewhere that you think that this is a thousand and twenty four bytes. Uh, a kilobyte is a thousand twenty four bytes. It is not. OK, it's a thousand bytes. A thousand twenty four bytes is actually this separate thing called a kibibyte, which I'm not going to spend any more time on. But just know that a kilobyte is a thousand bytes, which makes your calculations uh, much easier. And the kind of thing we can fit in a kilobyte is, well, about a thousand characters of text. So what that's what about a side of a four. OK, next up is mega. A mega is Greek for great. OK, so you've got a great byte here, a megabyte here. And a megabyte is a thousand kilobytes bytes and this is what we're going to find it's going to be a thousand more uh, than the last one uh, and the kind of thing you can store in a kilobyte well maybe about a minute of music just short of a minute of music I'll put one minute and the next one we've got is a gigabyte and giga is Greek for giant okay so we've got a giant byte now uh, and that is a thousand megabytes so you see and there's a whole system here well, what can we fit in a gigabyte well from now on I'm going to just refer to Netflix um, or your other favorite streaming service uh, to, to help here so a gigabyte is about 20 minutes of high definition of video. So if you sat watching Netflix then you can be, and you're watching it for 20 minutes high definition, you probably streamed about a gigabyte worth of data. All right, so next up is a terabyte. Okay, so a terabyte. And like terror is like uh, what can be terrible? Well, it's a monster. And so, yes, this is Greek for a monster byte now. And we've got a thousand uh, gigabytes to make up a terabyte and this is hopefully where you'll start to see the, the massive differences in scale so if one gigabyte I can watch 20 minutes worth of a high definition video in Netflix then in one terabyte I can actually be watching two weeks worth of high definition video so you can see there's a massive difference there but wait there's more we've got petabytes as well and to be honest this is where it gets a bit boring in Greek because peta just means five one two three four five so they ran out of monster uh, of interesting sort of names I think so we've got a petabyte now uh, and a petabyte obviously you figured out by now is a thousand terabytes but here's the thing if you were sat watching Netflix uh, on high definition then you'd be watching it for 38 years before you used one petabyte of data so you know you're probably married have kids if, or if you've already done those that sort of thing then you are definitely picking up your old age pensioners check at that point so that is the big difference so you got kilobyte meta, megabyte gigabyte terabyte and petabyte simple calculations to do here so if you've got three kilobytes then that means you've got three times 1000 bytes which means that you've got 3000 bytes so you don't need to worry if you're asked to do a calculation you just need to remember it's a thousand and you need to remember the order so like a megabyte is a thousand kilobytes and a gigabyte is a thousand megabytes and so on and that's all you really need for units if you found that video useful 
please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.